Today, I'm going to walk you through the steps of how to download Okio Labs camera control on your Mac device, as well as a short tutorial to explain its functions. First, head to the Okio Labs website. Once you have arrived, go to download. Make sure that you select the camera control underneath the Mac column. There will be a zip file that will automatically start to download to your computer. Once it is finished downloading, open the zip file. Drag the Okio Labs camera control icon to the Applications folder. Once you have done that, open your launch pad, select Okio Labs camera control, and a pop-up will appear. Press Open. Don't worry, this pop-up will only appear the first time that you are opening Okio Labs camera control. While you are able to use Okio Labs camera control with Zoom, Google Meet, Skype, and other third-party video applications, for the purposes of today's video, we will be using the camera control app in conjunction with Google Meet. Open Google Meet and start an instant meeting. Once you have opened Google Meet and started a meeting, you can choose your desired camera by clicking Settings, Video, and then choosing the Okio Labs A10. At the top right of the Okio Labs camera control window, there is a button titled Preview that allows you to see what your image sent looks like. From the camera drop-down menu, you are able to choose which camera you would like to use. There are two ways to zoom using camera control. You can zoom by using the zoom slider to zoom in and out, or you are able to place two fingers on the trackpad while your cursor is over the framing box and slide up or down on the trackpad to zoom in or out. To adjust the field of view, you are able to either drag the pink rectangle around the framing box to choose which portion of the screen you are showing, or you are able to use the arrows to do more minute adjustments. Some apps automatically mirror your image. To compensate for this, we included the mirror direction capability so that when you are changing the field of view, it corresponds. To adjust exposure and white balance, Click Auto and slide the exposure or white balance to your desired settings. You can easily reset all settings to default by clicking the button at the bottom of the window. The Okio Labs A10 is a fixed focus lens, so the focus setting is not compatible with the A10. Under the Advanced Settings tabs, you are able to adjust the gain, color saturation, brightness, contrast, and sharpness. These settings assist you when there are more unfavorable lighting conditions. Sometimes a camera lens flickers, and so we have included an anti-flicker. If you are experiencing a distortion, you can adjust the cycle between 50 and 60 hertz to give you a flicker-free image. Under profile, you are able to save your advanced settings to a profile to access later. After finalizing your settings, you can name your profile by clicking Save New Profile. If you ever want to access these settings at a later time, simply choose from the profiles you have created. Thank you all for watching.